I was getting ready to make settings for this TV by plugging up my professional calibration equipment and tools. And boy, oh boy, let me tell you, I don't have to do a thing. And this is the first time ever on a TV. I literally straight up just have been replaced and I really don't have to do anything. And it feels so damn good. This year, Sony has a new feature. If you open up your picture setting menu and you go to, I mean, I'm in the IMAX enhanced mode, but if you go to the ambient light sensor, I don't know how I missed this. I usually just turn it off, but they have extra stuff here. So I turned off the luminance part because that's just the global brightness. I don't really need them doing that for me. Cool thing, the tonal curves that they're adjusting, basically your contrast on the fly, and then also adjusting the white balance, which is the big one, that calibrates your TV. You, you literally have a real-time professional calibrator, you know, a Master Series Sony, that's your professional calibrator, I'll say, literally on the fly with your ambient light creating a profile based off of your lighting environment. It doesn't get any more perfect than this. This is what I've been aiming for for the longest time when telling people like, yeah, they should make some smart feature like that. I didn't realize Sony actually did it. You know, it's a really easy thing to miss. This is fucking huge, and I have no idea why people are not talking about this more. I mean, can we just appreciate the fact that in 2021, you don't have to pay for a calibrator like that. That I hope this comes standard on all XR TVs. This is massive, massive stuff right now. And I'm in SDR right now for anybody wondering. Again, I am I am like blown away by like how different things start getting when you just do it this way. And the tonal curve thing is really where the contrast gets tighter. And I'm I'm really enjoying this. Like like tops. This is 10 out of 10, like making me happy right now. Okay. So IMAX enhanced mode so far, this is what I'm rocking in SDR, but let me tell you right now, I mean, just look at my boy Luffy looking so clean. I'm probably going to get in trouble for playing a little bit of this. I'll see how much of it I can get away with. I mean, just look at how crazy that face is right now. I don't know how much of this is going to show up on YouTube, but this is straight heat right now. Like, bro, Look at this. It's so fire. Bro, look at the heat. Look at the heat right now. This is insane. Oh, man. I am digging this. Look at the boy Luffy. Oh, so clean on this TV, yo. So clean. Oh, my God. This, this is what anime is all about. So that's all I think I'll play just to avoid some trouble. I think you get the idea. But this is extra drippy, like, good God, it's incredible. I'm fucking, like, I can't wait to play some more with this, but, like, I'm sorry. Like, has, like, out of all the reviews I've seen, people have glossed over this, but nobody drove home how well it works. Not only does it work, it works really well, like, stupid well. And we're just gonna, like, pretend this is not a thing in 2021? Like, what? Bro, Zoro looks clean, Luffy looks clean, everything. Like, this anime show, movie, is looking great. This is a One Piece stampede for anybody that's wondering. Incredible movie. One of the best showcases for color you could possibly ask for if you're an anime fan. Like, incredible. If you're not, well, you know, whatever. I love anime. But either way, I, I really, like, wanted to put this out there so you guys know that you can literally just open up your picture setting... And you can go to your light sensor and all the key stuff that you need to know is like right here. And that's the sauce. So I really hope this helps you guys out. Thanks for watching the number one brand in honesty. And until the next video.